is going on YouTube. Tom here, I'm bringing you some more MW3 gameplay now, guys. This is a celebration of my 100th video. Yes, we're already at my 100th video. And, guys, I really want to give a big shout out to everyone who watches my video. Thank you so much for watching them. I, I, I'm so surprised how many views I got. And I'm bringing it. And to celebrate, guys, here's another Moab. But, guys, this is the simplest way to get a Moab in the history of the game. It's a bit boring at times, yes, but you're going to see how easy it really is to get a Moab. So, straight away, you can see, guys, I'm playing money in the Denk again. I throw a sent extract the cars here. Got to be on the best kill cam, so you can see there we are. Double kill straight away. Juggernauts for some reason not active. There's my mate, noob tribute directly. There we are. I've got the juggernaut suit. Simple as that. I'm playing with two of my closest friends. I'm playing with a guy called Callum, which you might remember from many of my other videos, and Luca, who I did the moon gameplay with. So now, guys. I take over this little house, I do what the French toast did, did he think he had a chance drop showing me? So I'm going to take over this house and we're going to work together so I get a Moab, so here they come. They're, they're struggling to get here first, so I swear on Desert Eagle, la la la. And this is the time when you need to get into this building quick as the enemy team before before your teammates get in here. As soon as, he, as, soon as you get other players in this building, now is it, it is almost impossible to kill the juggernaut in here. So we are. So effectively, I use my friends as sacrificial lambs, so I can get my Moab. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but guys, anyway, this is my hundredth video. Yep, and just before Black Ops Two comes out, when I'll hopefully be uploading regular gameplay and all that rubbish as you do, and you can see, guys, straight away, I'm in. But the only way to take out Juggernaut is by flashing him and spraying. That's the only possible way to do it, guys. What does this enemy team do? They flash, yes, but they don't spray very often. So sometimes they run at me head on because they think they have a chance. Other times they just flash me for days. I'm not joking, guys. I mean flash you for days. So here we go. So you can see there's Luke with his um, L he's using an LMG. Callum's using an M4. I, and guys, this is not a flawless game. This is going to show you how to get the Moab really quickly easily and as it's like the last couple of days of mw3 before everyone starts effectively including me starts playing black ops 2 for ages <laughs> so let, i just want i thought i'd share this gameplay with you this gameplay is only a few weeks old guys as you probably could tell so it's not an old one and guys i can't say anything else except this is so easy to get a moab here you can see some of you might say oh i'm camping it out not re i'm not camping it out guys if I was camping, I'd be in a corner with loads of my teammates. I'm you. I'm running around this building. The problem is, I'm trying to get the um, the enemy team to go after me in small enough numbers so I don't die effectively <laughs> really quickly. But in larger, but in as long as I keep going, they're okay. Sorry guys, I'm losing my train of thought. This is how close I got to dying. That's the closest I come to dying. I was white screen of death and machine gun. So you can see, guys. In theory, I could just get assist for days. I'm blood red again so i was like guys you gotta cover me <laughs> thank you my teammate if that if my teammate wasn't spraying down there i would have died simple as so big thank you to whoever it was thank you Sean. and i don't know what's with this enemy team they weren't very skillful i won't lie now uh, i weren't very skillful now i weren't very skillful because i am in theory camping you could argue i'm camping with a desert eagle with a juggernaut suit in a corner which i i, I do admit guys I am playing very defensively, but this was to showcase to my friend how easy it is to get a Moab on Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 3 if you knew what to do. And in a minute, guys, you'll start seeing Rage Quit, Rage Quit, Rage, rage Quit, because they just couldn't get near the building. So, some guy C4 himself, genius child. White screen of death again, and I still got the kill. So, I'm just going to watch how many people Rage Quit. Now, this isn't like, this was, um, this is, I, this is, Literally, guys, Moab after Moab now I get by doing this tactic. So, to the people who watch my videos and never got Moab, this is my top tips for you, okay? I know it's a bit late, but who cares? <laughs> I didn't get a Moab until a few months ago. Then I started getting loads. Right, my top tip for you, what would it be? My top tip would be playing Money in the Denk. You definitely. You get the Juggernaut, get the bomb, get the Juggernaut suit, like that, and... Go in a building like this with two entrances. Get a few teammates working with you. It, it's a sure way to get a Moab. And that guy was just... I just don't know what's wrong with it. And you can see, guys, that... Okay, you can also see, guys, that we're the, I'm moving around this building. I'm trying to make them come different directions so my teammates can get kills. I could, in theory, guys, just rush out there, plant them on, win the game. But, yeah, that's great for my, my teammates want to get kills as well. 
So even though you might be saying, oh, how am I benefiting my team? It's simple. The enemy t is going to keep rushing this building because I'm in this building. So my teammates can get some kills. They can get their challenges done as well. So you can see, guys, it's 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 a win-win situation. Now, what else can I talk to you about? Well, I'm not going to talk. About, I've got another zombie. I've got. I've nearly finished all my up my um save gameplay, guys. So be on to Black Ops Two now. I can't tell you how annoyed I am at the moment. I, I haven't been able... Well, I don't have my Xbox here at university with me, as many of you know. I study uh, at university. I, I haven't got my Xbox with me, so I can't just keep playing lots and lots of good gameplay for you, which is a real shame. Because, two reasons. One, I would be on it 24-7 and no coursework would be done. And second of all, think of the bills of the electricity and the internet. And the internet here is alright-ish, but it's not amazing. And you can see there's one person left now, guys. So I thought, yeah, I'll chill outside a bit. You know, rush to the bomb site, tease a bit. And then my mate was like, uh, Tom, I went, what, dude? There's low, There's now a load of... we got a full enemy team joining now. I was like, oh, sh sugar. Run away. Run back into my little building to be safe. And that was the teammate C4. When I watched this video, I thought, was that an enemy C4? Now... I I've got a really good fail video of a juggernaut suit somewhere on my um somewhere on my laptop. I'll try and find it. It's when I di died in a juggernaut suit because an enemy threw a frag grenade at me. I decided to pick it up and try and throw it back. It kind of blew up in my face. I was so embarrassed and annoyed at myself. And you might be thinking, guys, what was the point of spraying the desert eagle? Then I can tell you why I did that, guys. Because you know what, you get points, don't you? You get the points for um. You get points for everything in this game. So I would look, I was trying to get an assist mode, uh, really, to be honest. And then I was going to get a proper mode. And he, oh, where's that, I was, where did that enemy go? Uh, it was the ghost of Modern Warfare 3. There's certain players in this game who seem to just vanish, my mate. Now, this is a foul by me. There we are, guys. And you can see I'm close to my Moab now. I'm getting close. So I'm like, don't do anything stupid. But I was like, I'm getting a bit bored here, guys, because the enemy team aren't rushing as me as much as I hoped because earlier in the game I was being rushed 24-7 almost but this enemy team is being more clever and here comes my mob now so I decided to stalk down this player I spray, fail, fail there we are, simple mob I was like guys here's the mob now what I should have done was so what was that kid doing there honestly I don't know what he was doing now in theory I should have rushed up to here as fast as I could Plant the bomb as the Moab went off. I did a little spin as you do. There we are. The way I die in this juggernaut suit is ridiculous. I'm sorry. I should not have died. I got knifed. Now, here comes a really good battle. 3v1. 4v1 <laughs> and I still win. So I retreat away guys and I'm thinking. I'm, I'm too badly injured so. The sniper up there who thinks. Yeah I can take out a juggernaut with my sniper. Yeah, that doesn't work out for you, does it really, dude? Another flash. I'm going to get Blast Shield Pro, guys. You can get Blast Shield Pro by flashes. <laughs> so anyway, guys, now, what I should have done now was plant the bomb. Because I had every advantage. I spray my Desert Eagle, as you do. La, la, la. I'm taking lots of hits. And he knifes me to death. One knife. Now, okay, I'll put my hands up. I was injured, but a knife doesn't do that much damage, surely. So I was like, guys, I lost the bomb. Everyone target the juggernaut. So I was like, okay, that juggernaut trying to go into the building and same builds me. I sprayed him and fell. I should have flashed really, but I did a lot of damage to him. So I was relying on my teammates to sort of um kill him. And there we go, guys. We're coming up to the end of the game over in the next couple four minutes on. And you can see, guys, that I'm getting lots of challenges done here, which is good. And there we are. This I'm now. I think I can't remember what prestige I am. I'm on three. I think I'm tenth prestige, which is good enough for me considering. I'm at university most of the time, and I, I didn't. I was not really enjoying the MW3 multiplayer until in the last few months when I got my P and my recording stuff. So it's not so it's not all bad news. And I was just double team there, so I know how it feels like to be my mates who just kept dying <laughs> while trying to protect the juggernaut. Now, unfortunately, guys, we don't have time to plant. I don't think. Well, we do have the time. But just the enemy are just too good. I give them credit here. This enemy team. They were bad at the start, but they, in the end, they got pretty decent. Now, my teammate is now camping this building, thinking, oh, I'm doing the same tactic as that kid did. No, guys, I only do this tactic if I get the bomb within the first two to three minutes. If I get the bomb any later, I'm just like, no point going from, no point. If we're going from a mob, I try and plant it, okay? 
I only ever do this contact if I can get the bomb two or three minutes into the game. Any longer, guys, and that's it. I don't think there's enough time to get a Moab properly. And <laughs> that there, how many red? There was four red dots then. That and I was like, okay, I was like, twenty odd seconds ago, I was like. I'm going to do something really heroic now. I'm going to, I'm going to, I was like, I'm fed up a camp in this building. Suicidal charge. In a sec. Come on, where's my suicidal charge? Come on. So I was like, a couple of seconds left in the game. I was like, five seconds left. Charge. So I just sprayed everywhere. Get pine cover, spray again. And then I died. I, I do wish it showed my amazing couple of kills. But no, you went straight to the enemy. I got a five kill streak then. Look at that. He sprayed at me, and I sponged a fair bit then. I sponged a fair and he wasn't even aiming at me. What the French toast? Never mind, guys. Here we go. We're into overtime now. Now, in theory, what you should do is everyone should rush for the bomb. If you can get that bomb, okay, you've got a juggernaut, juggernaut on your team. If the enemy get the bomb, and and there's, let's be honest, if there's a couple of people... If you got at least a couple of people on your team alive, there we are, guys. I took out, f I took out three players, so it should be nice and easy for our teammates now. Here comes my mate with LMG, LMG, and what I'm going to say, guys, is I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay. I rambled a bit here, guys. I, there was not really much to talk about. I can in my next zombie video, my final zombie video until Black Ops, my final video until Black Ops 2 comes out, which I, by the way, I'm really excited for. I put my it straight away. Is I'll talk about Black Ops 2, my hopes, my dreams, effective of it, and let's just and let's pray it's a good Call of Duty, and not let's hope it's not such a letdown like M MW3 was for many people. Okay, guys, so that's enough of me talking, rabbiting. Now I'm just gonna ask for a please like the video if you've enjoyed it. Please like the video. This is my very easy way to get a Moab. Also, also if you want to see some more amazing Black Ops 2 gameplay when it comes out, please sub to my channel. You won't regret it. And what else can I say? Oh yeah, also comment, share, favourite, all the usual bish you can do on YouTube. And with that, guys, I think 77 Johnny will be signing out. To, that was a bit a commando knife. Never mind though. And can we try and let's see if we can get five likes on this video. Let's try and get five likes on this video. Callum, that was such a commando knife. Anyway, guys, with that, remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and all the usual rubbish. And with that, since then, Johnny is signing out, or Tom is signing out. So, peace out, guys. Peace out. Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. We all fall down. <laughs>